guys, how can I bash here? And I'm just create a short video just to show you how to, you can actually create a sales page for an ebook. Um, and this was in response to a um, forum posting that I saw, and um, it's basically one way you can actually sell your ebook online. Okay, now to do this, um, there's a couple of things that you're going to need. Actually, it's a little bit more than a couple, and those are you're going to need a domain name and um, you can pick them up um, usually about ten dollars for a year um, GoDaddy um, that's one that I use and a hosting account you'll need that as well um, recommend GoDaddy or um, HostGator and also you're going to need a PayPal account now if you've got standard personal one you'd need to upgrade it to business one or a merchant services now um, there's an extra charge for it it's all free of charge so just basically go and do that and you'll need a WinZip Composer HTML editor FileZilla and also a sales page template now um, all the links are on this page here so what I'm going to suggest is just pause this video and just download and install uh, WinZip, Composer and FileZilla and I'll see you on to the next page um, on the next section uh, you will need to have your ebook that you want to sell so have that to hand so, so for now just press a pause download WinZip, Composer files in it and sales page templates and welcome back now um, I've just installed uh, FileZilla and you'll need to do that just open that up now for FileZilla you will need here your um, hosting account name and that's my domain name your username and also your password just press connect and that will connect to your hosting account. Now, the um, PDF that I'm going to be using, the ebook, is create your website. It's called create your first website. Now, I'm going to be putting that into my um, root page or my domain name, which is just here, and that is create your first money-making website. So. The root page, um, the root of that directory is in my public HTML. So all I just do is basically I just drag and drop it into that folder, and that will put it into my root directory. So now all you just need to do is you need to open up a Notepad, and you need to put down your domain name as well as. Um, your ebook so you need to make a copy of that that's if you're actually putting it on your root directory if you're going to put it into another directory it'll be your domain name and the other directory's name slash um, the title of your ebook now next step what we need to do is we need to go to PayPal now you need to have a merchant service account here what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to the merchant services and select sell a single item give it a name I'm calling it ebook and the cost let's say seven pounds you can make it seven dollars or whatever you want okay the next step you do is you just click on customize advanced features and then all we just do is we just scroll down here now this is what we're looking for take my customers to this URL when they have finished the checkout here what we do is we copy this and then what we do is we paste it into the section here take customers after they finish checkout and just paste it in there okay that's all you just need to do for now okay now all we just need to do is just scroll down and 
we click on create button. Now from this the only thing that we need is this particular code. So just select code, copy that and we're going to paste that into our notepad. Okay. Next thing what we do is um, we take a look at that zip file that um, you downloaded, the sales page zip file. So just drag that out onto the desktop and open up Composer and then just go to open file and then we go to the sales page and we open this index file. Index file is basically um, if you put an index file, HTML file into a folder, uh, whenever you type in the domain name slash the folder, it will be the first um, page that will um, boot up. That's the best way I could describe it. So here what we do is we take this particular line of code, now this is your sales page. You could change it and mend it to how, whatever you want it to be. Um, you could even add images to it. Now those images must be in that same sales folder. So to link, if, if um, you wanted to use one of these buttons, and uh, say choose which one is going to be relevant to you. So if you, this one, just click on the link, just paste that there, click on the save, you could choose any of the other ones and just click on browse launch application and this opens it into a browser just click that and voila what you're going to find is it will go to the paypal site and um, it's just taken and that's it and once you make the payment you'll go to that download page and that's it, that's all you basically just need to do to simply sell a, a um, an ebook. Okay, this is basically the quickest way of selling it. All you just need to then do is just copy either the folder or the contents of um, the sales directory and you save, you copy that onto um, whether it be a special directory or whether it be a um, root in your root domain. Now I'm just gonna do like an experiment just to show you. Now let me just sort of upload this and that's gonna be going to my domain which is this one here and quickly get it up and we had that sales page whoops it's still taking a bit of time for it to upload I'm just going to pause this for the time being and then we'll come back to it and I'll show it to you Okay, it's finished uploading and this is my sales page. And this is online. All you just need to do is click that same button and it will take you to the PayPal um, page. Now this is the most quick, as I said, it's the most quickest and easiest way um, to get online um, for you to publish your book. Now, if you would like a guide to Composer and as well as a news, my newsletter explaining about how to create your first uh, money-making website, um, just go to that email address. It's also on this page. And also put down your comments and um, tell me how you found this video.